Sputnik moment for China. That was a big one. Which is in January of this year, uh, 2025, when the Chinese startup DeepSeek released their R1 model, which was claiming at the time a ChatGPT4 level reasoning. So yeah. this is like our best, most frontier. This is pre-ChatGPT5, which we now have yeah. today in September. Uh, Fully trained on NVIDIA H800s. Yes. The, the not good chips. The not good chips, yeah. Uh, at what we now understand to be a sub $300,000 training cost. Now, it's important to note the That's amount crazy. of money that Anthropic, uh, OpenAI, uh, Meta has raised to train, Grok, to train their foundation models is in the order of tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. So these are, this is an orders of magnitude orders of magnitude less. difference yeah and so what we ended up creating by doing this choke point on the hardware side was you know uh necessity is the father of invention or whatever right yeah china then said okay let's innovate on the training model and infrastructure to yeah. try to get the same efficacy with on the algorithms and on the, the algorithm software. and the software not on the hardware so this created a huge uh you know, surprise yeah. from a lot of U.S. observers because the, the 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 consensus was if we choke off the hardware, they got nothing. Yeah, and this totally blew that out of the water. So at first there was fascination, which was immediately followed by the national security mm -hmm. narrative taking over. Yeah, an interesting point about what China did with uh, DeepSeek was it was also the first frontier scale open weight model. Yeah, yeah, they just published their weights. Right. Yeah. Which the the point here is then you can take it and make it into whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. So the app for DeepSeek became the number one most downloaded app globally. Oh, it I didn't know that. It was then banned in India, Italy, Australia, Taiwan, because the national security narrative came in and it was like, this is a propaganda tool. It's a it's a data siphoning tool. Yeah. Uh, don't trust DeepSeek. But it strategically left out the point about the fact that you could download the model, yeah. run it locally, and change the weights however you wanted to. So. With DeepSeek, if you tried to look up Tiananmen Square, yeah, you weren't going to get an answer. Really? Right. So they were, you know, oh, classic. doing a little bit on yeah, the, yeah, yeah, of course, on the information control. Yeah. But it's open weights. Yeah. So if you want the Tiananmen Square answer, you can do it on your own. But oh, the, interesting. I see. Yeah. The narrative really tried to avoid talking about that point. At the same time, people started calling OpenAI closed AI yeah. because they had never wow. had an open source model. They That's never funny. had a research paper, a peer review paper right, yeah. around their process. So now this brings us to where we are today yeah. with these two new papers in Nature, uh, which go a little bit deeper into how DeepSeek went through their process.